Well, welcome back to my channel, Miss Pronounce Adventures, and uh, welcome to probably the last episode in this little series. Um, we're currently in Slovenia, and I need to be back in the UK in about four days' time. So we've left Croatia, we arrived in Slovenia, and we're sort of making our way north. We want to find some mountains, hopefully to, to go for tonight, and then in Austria tomorrow, uh, and then Germany. In a minute, I'm convoying with uh, Greg Virgo and Lou, uh, Rob from Archie and Me, and the wheelies, or uh, the wandering wheelies. We've got a little four van convoy going on in a minute. Greg Virgo on a skateboard, for those who didn't know. Absolutely beautiful park. Oh. Whilst well, everyone is back at the van, I've been uh, sent on the important mission to go find the bar. Hopefully, success. Success. Bar is for anyone, restaurant is for hotel guests only. I guess it's alright, isn't it? It's also got a hookup and water. A bit frosty, but not too cold. And today we're going to make our way over to Austria. even has an underground ski centre. It's literally the car park turned into a ski centre. Underground skiing facility. Large football pitch Astro. So the Nordic Centre, well worth uh, a visit. Just to watch the ski jumpers train is amazing and you've got the underground ski car park. It's got that indoor skydiving stuff, frisbee golf game, cafe, saunas, everything. And hook it up in the car park. Um, so if you're in this part of Slovenia, well worth the visit.
something which uh, I do think we like about the the van community. Whilst I've only sort of been involved in it now for a year or so, that you meet people at different events and along the way, and then you find yourself six months down the line, all over Europe, convoying for them, having a great time, and just popping in and out of other people's trips. Yeah, that's just a lot of fun and a really great community. miles on snowy mountain roads. Now oh, I can put the camera down. Right, Austrian border. that this border is closed for some reason. Maybe it's closed for winter because it's a mountain route. But the border is shut. We've hit 100,000 miles at the closed Slovenia-Austrian border. So I guess dip back down the hill. Right, well this is the second Slovenia-Austria border we're trying today. It seems apparently this one might be one of the only ones open anymore. All the others because they go over the mountain bits are shut. Um, so hopefully this all works out. Wait, which border is this? Is this Italy? Is it, I thought this is Austria. We're in Italy. This isn't going to be Italy, this is going to be Austria. <laughs> I don't understand. This is the wrong country. Um, we're, we're, we're going to be going to Austria. This is the wrong country. <laughs> Oh, so bad I wasn't leaving today. I've gone dizzy. Alex took us to the wrong bloody country. So today is my day leading the convoy and well, so far I've taken us to the wrong country. Uh, good start. I think uh, that this is going to nip around the back of the mountain range on my right hand side and then we can get into Austria that way. I say that, I've got no idea. Well, it looks like this time we're in Austria. Yay for Austria! Oh no, wait, it's a kilometre to Austria. into the correct country, Austria, um, uh, opposed to the unplanned Italy. Slight problematic, I think, thing I didn't realise was uh, I wasn't sure to drive in Italy. So I sent a very quick email to my uh, insurance company uh, to make sure that it was okay. Although I think they might have insured me, I'm, I meant to tell them all the countries I go to and then they add it to the trip on my way on, but I think I am by default, maybe it should anyway. I don't know. That is a lot of Tesla. One, two, three, four, 
five, six, seven Tesla. Fourteen Tesla. No, twenty-one Tesla. Twenty-one? No, twenty-one. Yes, twenty-one. A five-star campsite and it's 23 euro a night. Saunas, heated swimming pool, all those are the views, even a dog shower. meant to be driving home tomorrow but we've decided <laughs> I might stay an extra day and drive a big day back to Calais. <laughs> Last day of the trip, really. Got to say goodbye to Rob and Archie, Greg and Lou, Wandering Wheelies, and then I've got to drive over the next day and a half, 700 miles to Calais for the bottom of Germany. It's going to be a long one. Bye, everyone. I forgot to put my max fan down and I need to set all the GPS up. So if you see any of their videos and it's me driving away Alex is gone, I've only actually just driven to the reception so I can park up and do the uh, GPS. I'll do a GPS! <laughs> yeah, <laughs> everyone else was like, <laughs> Every morning he drives off, does like five minutes and goes, fuck. Thank you very much. Will do, I'll send you some pins of how far I get. <laughs> See if I can find a park up in Luxembourg so I can count it, count it to country. And not slide down this Will do. Will do. Till the next time, guys, thank you. I've just driven into Austria. I didn't think that was on the cards today. Presumably I'm going to get back into Germany very quickly. I hope. We're good. I'm back in Germany again. It seems like there was a 
200 meter stretch of road which went from Germany, Austria, Germany. Luxembourg and I stopped for a very overpriced McDonald's in a service station. Not really, you know, a particularly interesting uh, trip to Luxembourg, but only four more hours to Calais. Didn't quite make it to Calais last night. Did about 10 hours of driving and got to the border of northern France, so in Belgium in a minute. Just found a little, I guess, canal side park up. And um, yeah, it's still an hour and a half to get to Calais today and I'm just gonna see if I can jump on an early train. But nicely tucked away. Final country of the trip. Continue straight. We're in France. Observation, you've got to love how loads of people in sort of like the fan life community and so on at home in touring in Europe are right pretty concerned about following all the proper like requirements on your on your vehicle do you need a GB UK logo half of these vehicles do not care in the UK and I have to remember to now drive back on the other side of the road. Should be interesting. So final mileage of the trip. That means I did 6,943 miles and once again need to fill up AdBlue for the fourth time and um, well and fill up the van as well. Time to take these off before I forget. This has been hanging off since day one I put it on. But they might have served a purpose. Great. And this is going to be the last outro for this video. So it's a couple of months after I've got back now. Um, just could be been editing and I'm filming the outro at the end of editing the final video. But thank you very much for joining me. Um, for those who have joined during the travel series, thank you for coming along and enjoying the trip. It's been quite an interesting range from Northern Lights, Northern Norway to Halloween at Dracula's house. 
uh, if you want to see how the van was built, I've got a whole build series and there's going to be now a few upgrade videos to come. And if those who have found me from the start or the early days and the van build, whether I've had an empty panel van and I'm now I'm using it in Europe and doing all the things I wanted to do in it, thank you very much for joining me on the journey along. Um, yeah, there's going to be more travel series. There's going to be some upgrade videos coming. And yeah, just thank you very much for the comments along the way. Um, if you want to follow any of the other people I've seen uh, throughout the trip and see their stories and see their adventures and trips from a different point of view, please do. Please subscribe to them and give them some support. But I think for me, um, that's going to be me signing out. If you haven't already subscribed, please do. All those numbers count. And this trip has been really helpful for, for growing the channel. But yeah, until the next time. Cheers. Bye.